folks, I am Dave, the not so evil evil Viking thirteen, and I am back here with Joel, the co-pilot <laughs> and owner of Joel's <laughs> Pleasure Island on <laughs> Spectacle Island. We are back for part two of the tour because uh, there's a lot left to see. Any guesses for what we have next? Um, I don't know, but I see that little blue thing out in the right. I'm like, what's inside that? <laughs> we're gonna find out. Uh, we're actually gonna start off a little bit slow. We're gonna leave the pit. Uh, where, you know, thieves and rule breakers uh, carry out their sentences and earn their right to spend more money on your island without being murdered. So we're going to leave the pit behind and the graves of a few, you know, loyal workers who died trying to finish their sentence and couldn't quite make it. The danger mine signs are 100% a lie, too. It's just a scare tactic. Good work, Joel. <laughs> we're going to head around the borders of... Pleasure Island, and we'll take a look here. You got your heavy construction equipment for where you were like moving, you know, some of the lights and stuff. How in the did place. I get this here? Barges. There's all kind of barges actually yeah. out in the harbor. Joel, I thought everything. Come on now, you you know how this works. <laughs> barges. <laughs> uh, we came outside of this door right here, uh, and I'm gonna close that up real quick, like so. And remember the um, the old world house you could rent. It's got the spikes outside to protect it. We're gonna head over to the left side here. We got a scrappy looking entrance, some overgrown bushes, and as usual, a turret watching the wall. Gotta keep the freeloaders and the Meyer Lurks out. Hence the fence yeah. around the side here. We're actually going right over here just briefly. We're gonna to touch off on the employee section. Your staff section is built to like withstand riots in case like the people on the island just get sick of you and just rise up. So just that's, in, that's exact. I would totally plan for that. Yeah, I mean, you don't stay in the staff area, but still, the yeah. staff is still on your side. You want them to have like a fortress to kind of. Because if they turn against me, then I'm, all is lost. <laughs> I imagine you I have, gotta like, keep everyone under this like dome of fear. <laughs> exactly. Well, fear is how you keep order, despite the anarchy flags. At your Joel's pleasure. Yeah, it sounds time. like you can do what you want, but you do what I want you to. Do. Yeah, it's it's Joel's anarchy. You pay for the anarchy you're allowed to have. <laughs> Uh, there yeah. are some, you know, plants and whatnot over here just to help with the food supply. You get most of your supplies from the mainland, but you want to be at least a little bit self-sufficient, you know, just in case. Um, down here next to the entrance, we have some structures that were actually just part of the original build. Um, just the boathouse and, like, the little, uh, you know, eating area here. Just added some turrets and whatnot. Well, that's mostly as it was. As you can see, there has like a chain link fence that totally seals in the staff area, and it is set up to withstand a riot. It's got screens over all the windows, so your guards, your sorry, your enforcers, Minutemen have guards. You have enforcers. <laughs> your enforcers can shoot out of the deck of the staff area, which is all on stilts, <laughs> to hold down like a riot in case it happens. And Joel, I hadn't thought of this yet, but now that I'm looking at this, and now that you mentioned like. If your staff also turns against you, I'd imagine you have like C4 on the stilts too. Yeah. Like all the staffs, like yeah. we start the rebellion in the staff quarters. <laughs> Just yeah. right yeah. into the ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back quick. Go get your guns. Oh no. Because <laughs> the armor is in here too. Let's open her up. <laughs> so it has yeah, like, they would all go like to get their guns to revolt against me as yeah. I'm like, all according to my plan. <laughs> and you have plans for all of it. Speaking of which, there's the weapons locker right there with some extra life saving supplies. That's where your enforcers can store their weapons when they're not on duty. And they've got... But they, know, are, they are always on duty. I mean, technically, <laughs> you're, you're on an island. Where are you going to go to be off duty? I give them Christmas once a year. One day off. Do you, do you give them Christmas? Just one day. I mean, you got to keep them morale up a little bit. Just, just a the tiny, tiniest amount. Tiny ray of hope. <laughs> As you can see here, they've got a great view of the entranceway. I mean, they have turret back up, too. <laughs> a great view from through the chain links. I love that. Um, you got a working desk. I mean, tons of ammo and weapons just everywhere. Even like the nice little deck area, screened in for protection with chairs so you can watch. And your staff area is pretty bare bones because they're living probably the nicer lives on the island. But still, I mean, they're not making tons of money. You're making tons of money. So it's, it's nice, but it's kind of still like, you know, military nice. It's just... A little bit bare bones. And this is, I think, the only railroad flag I've ever placed in a settlement because Spectacle Island was originally a railroad, like, uh, 
like fairy point, I guess. Hmm. Uh, and the guy is actually still out there somewhere. You'll run into him occasionally. You can't control him like a settler. Yeah, he actually is out there somewhere. I'm imagining that you're allowing him to stay for a prize. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, some tokens and notes and, and just a very barracks-like uh, setup here in your staff area. You know, I would make him run the pit. <laughs> the, the railroad agent? Yeah, I would make him run the pit. He's been here for a long enough time. If he wants to stay here... He has to do my dark deeds. <laughs> no one wants to do your dark deeds, Joel. <laughs> so we're going to head past the Pleasure Palace. And if you guys missed part one, click on the link on the screen right now. You can go back and see uh, the Pleasure Palace, which is a treat <laughs> for all. <laughs> we also checked out uh, the Chem Lab here, as well as the Old World House and the arcade which has yeah ski ball and yeah or the, basketball i guess and then yeah, uh, it's, it's ski ball basketball yeah and then it's got the the blue lights uh next up is the casino and this is where you really yeah, rake in some caps. i wasn't expecting a casino yeah and yeah, this is definitely where you make a lot of your caps i mean pleasant company per night is expensive but think about like what else are you gonna do in the apocalypse but gamble what you have so some people can really get hooked on gambling on joel's pleasure island as you can see someone's a fan of the sierra madre compared to your casino though <laughs> a little bit of graffiti he's probably in the pit right now <laughs> <laughs> he's probably in the pit <laughs> we're gonna go up the front here <laughs> some of the extra generators and uh the old pre-war doghouse kind of tucked in the corner here next to the wall with the barbed wire gotta keep those freeloaders out <laughs> get a reminder, rule breakers get the pit, thieves and murderers get the ring. And we're going to see the you ring You know, it's because you can't soon. really see the pit from here, which is good, because it always needs to be that level of fear of what is the pit. Because rumors... everyone knows, but no one talks about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want to go there. Did you, you know? like, Joel, how it was just over the hill where you can't yeah, really I see Yeah, I like that. I really like that, because it's was like, by design. where are they taking you, Francis? And you're, like, dragging, dragging away. It's like, I'll be back in a few weeks. Here at the casino, it's 30 caps <laughs> just to get in. 30 caps per game after that, so we can just go in right here. This is where you pay your caps. Again, pay your damn caps or move on. <laughs> Nothing's free here. You want to have fun? That's right, you keep that counter clean before Joel sees you. <laughs> um, this is the gambling table area. We got nice, pretty comfy chairs. I like the lamps that that has a good gambling feel. There. Yeah, and it's got the casino and cocktail posters. And this, Joel, is one of my favorite custom textures that I've done. Because what do you need for a gambling hall? For a casino? You need cards, right? Did you make cards? There we go. So I turned the pristine cigarette packs into packs of cards. There we go. Vault cards. And I actually used the image that came with the, I think it was New Vegas, like collector's edition, had actual cards. So I uh, retextured the pristine cigarettes as vault cards. That's amazing. For your gambling hall. I mean, it's got to be lore friendly, right? Yep. It's got to be. <laughs> so says General Dave. <laughs> so what is General Dave doing on this island? Like, what would you do when you come to visit? Well, first of all, I'm, I'm completely hiding my face. Yeah, so, I mean, no one knows who you are. Complete gas mask. But why would you come visit here? I mean, technically you work for me, but only because I've allowed you... General yeah. Dave has allowed Joel. Am I? Are you, are you like spying taking, on you? You're spying on me. I, are you taking him? Like, am I, we like have an arrangement of caps. You know, it's like the cartel. I mean, you can only do so much. So it's like you just you got to know your enemy. Yeah. Instead of getting rid of me, you can keep tabs on me. <laughs> so we have kind exactly. of a mutual balance. It's like you know, keep your keep your friends close and your enemies closer. You're somewhere in the middle here in Fallout. <laughs> um, over here you got some extra supplies. Uh, I think, oh yeah, I mean, you gotta keep your, uh, your gambling guests, uh, well lubricated with some delicious alcohols. <laughs> you gotta keep those caps flowing, right? Some nice cigars, some nice glasses. I'd imagine that these are files on all of the, uh, you know, most addicted gamblers. Keep them coming back. <laughs> oh, you get a 10% discount today, Joel's Casino. <laughs> And, you know, drinks and cigarettes and whatnot. After you spend 300 caps or more. <laughs> oh, of course, of course. And we can look over here uh, on the original gambling table. Uh, it's got extra packs of cards and drinks and newspapers. You know, someone's been spending some serious caps. Now, let's say you're not big into cards. You want to play some nice family-friendly board games. <laughs> family-friendly. 
It's going to be uh, 10 caps per game uh, here Everything in the costs. game room. Everything, Everything costs. Everything costs money. Am I correct here, Are you Joel? bringing children here? <laughs> I don't think children should be going to Pleasure Island. But if they've got a lot of caps, <laughs> Joel will let them in. Oh, not, not that way. <laughs> I'm horrible. There's a line. Is there a line? I mean, they'll fight in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, children are invincible in Fallout, so they'll be fine in the pit. <laughs> you got your, your checkers. Did you set each one of those freaking caps Every on single it? one was placed by hand. Jeez. You even try to place it on the like, spots over there on the some right Some of them, yeah. yeah. Like where someone's like finished the game and gotten kind of angry and knocked some of them off. Yeah. <laughs> you just told me that because that's exactly what you were thinking, weren't you? Oh, like? of course. <laughs> I'm not making it up in the spot. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> This build has around 70 hours and like four or five pages of notes that I've done over the last month on the build. And here again, we've got, uh, this is actually a board game that Joel made. For those not quite getting the inside joke, I'm going to zoom in a, a bit again. Uh, Nebula from Hell is an actual board game that I just fit into the Fallout universe. I think the artwork actually works, works pretty well. <laughs> Dave, you surprised me with this. This is really cool. Yeah, I'll give yeah. you a screenshot for later so you can send it. <laughs> yeah, well, this is kind of... It's, 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 it was started as an inside joke. We all played with our friends for a Christmas party. Yeah. I wanted to create something hilarious, and we ended up liking a lot more, so I was like, let's just make this game. So, if you enjoy crazy sarcasm... I mean, if you're watching these videos... Yeah, yeah. I mean, for the people that hate my voice and my laughter, you're not going to like it. But for other people... <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna really enjoy this game. Check it out. It's it's a crazy game. Yeah, it's, it's a it's a game. it's like the board game for people who love Dark Souls and sarcasm. <laughs> it's it's a board game that came from Joel's mind. Joel's <laughs> twisted twisted mind. Uh, what's the website? Uh, the Nebula from Hell dot com. Well, there you go. Uh, <laughs> and Joel, where where did the Nebula come from? Was Pleasure Island? <laughs> that is not at all what I was going for. <laughs> all right. Anyway. <laughs> Moving on, let's let her get back to work. Gosh, she has like bags under her eyes. This island is terrifying. <laughs> she's, Everyone's being worked to the bone. Uh, she's seen things. We get back out on the porch here. More graffiti on the wall. Atomic Wrangler. I like it's actually like on like atomic, like the atomic sign. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna head down. Oh wait, wait, wait! Look, like turn around, look down. Yeah. Did you place that? You place a rubber mat. Uh, yes, yes, I did. And that's actually a guard post, too. It's actually, uh, occasionally you will be standing guard outside the casino just watching the caps come and in. I gotta say, the reason why I asked that is because I'm like, it's almost not even needed. Like, you, I, yeah. it's like you wouldn't, you didn't even look at it, too. You just went right I by. I know it's yeah. there. I know like, it's I know there. It's, yeah, I know Joel, you know, but you didn't even turn, look down at it. Like, it's just like. The, the amount of things that you haven't uh, even noticed. In, in fact, let me just go into workshop mode for a second. <laughs> I finally got the mod I've been waiting for, Joel. The mod that my heart has been dreaming of. <laughs> I don't care about the Workshop DLC. Okay, I care about the Workshop DLC. <laughs> but this mod, I was more excited about than all the Fighting Pit stuff. It's a mod that lets you place your own trash. <laughs> <laughs> you place your own trash? Oh my gosh. Because originally... Although, I gotta be honest, that is pretty cool. I probably would like that if I yeah. would actually spend time to build anything. Because the thing is, this was originally just like a sandbar. It's just a simple island. There's nothing else here. So to make it lived in and to make it crappy like Joel's Pleasure Island would be, I had to place my own trash. Dave, I'm going to make a build and you're going to be my guest for one episode one of these days. That'll be a short video. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a very short video and you're going to be really pissed. <laughs> um, so let's say, Joel, that we go back around to the deck here and we're going to take a look at the eating area. Now, this connects to the kitchen, but of course, restricted area, employees only. People can't come through here, although Dave did leave the door open. Let just close that back there. Let's say you get some food at the um, the underworld bar. You can like come around the uh, the porch right here with your food and whatnot, right? Yeah. Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so you can come along. We've got the uh, the kind of cliffside here with the guard towers to protect the left side. You can bring your food around, and you can eat out here on the very nice back deck. But again, your architectural standards aren't quite up there with General Dave's, as you might notice. The decks are in a little rough shape. <laughs> That's, so did you actually, you angled all of that? Yeah, it's Dang. it's like a rough shot deck. Where, I mean, you rebuilt the deck back behind the old bed and breakfast, but <laughs> you kind of did a crappy job of it, let's, let's be honest. Like, how, did any of this frustrate you having to like make it this way? Or is it in a way you're like, it's perfect because you were trying to go for ugly it, and it's, broken? It, it's perfect because it's supposed to be ugly and yeah. broken. It's broken by design. But was it hard, or was it hard to get out of the like mindset of like, it's gotta be. It's gotta fit. It's gotta be fun. I don't live here. This is your crappy <laughs> settlement. <laughs> it just looks very, very real. <laughs> we got some food trays here. Um, 
guard tower. Who is that fires. guy? Look at that. What is he wearing? Oh, the spike armor. Yes. Yeah. Some of your enforcers are pretty... Yeah, is that a ghoul? Yeah, it's a ghoul. It's pretty scary looking. That makes sense. I'd have ghouls working here. You would, wouldn't you? And they scare people, too. Um, Now, Joel, you know how careful I am with the placement of, of objects, like the bathhouse is in the corner of the settlement that's protected, but away. Yeah. Your outhouse is next to, like, the dining deck. <laughs> this this is your <laughs> outhouse. Now, the Minutemen, the, under General Dave, have nice indoor plumbing most of the time. Sometimes a crappy toilet, but they have indoor plumbing, right? Does Joel have ten caps to use the bathroom? Ten caps to use the bathhouse. <laughs> and there's not even indoor plumbing, Joel. Look underneath. You, your workers have to empty the 55-gallon drums, like, once a week. <laughs> Where do they empty it to, Dave? Into the ocean, of course. Like, right off the deck. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, you're, like, sitting there, like, trying to eat your crappy bloat fly steak next to the 10-cap outhouse with all those barrels just <laughs> right there? you totally do that. Yeah, I would. So this is the, uh, this is the outhouse. It's 10 caps to use it. Um, put them in the bucket. You don't care if they try to steal it, because someone will spot them, and they go to the pit, and you get free concrete smashing for a week. <laughs> I get free concrete smashing. Let them try to smash it, but 10 caps for a crappy bathtub, broken mirror. It's, like, almost tempting people Please steal. Oh, Just steal a little bit. Exactly. You'll be my slave. <laughs> By design. <laughs> hey, at least this, this one has toilet paper, so that's nice. Um, plunger. Plenty of stalls. That's weird. Someone's, like, used a dumbbell to, like, reinforce a hole in the wall. That's, that's weird. <laughs> so, who would have done that? It's just, just a weird hole in the wall in the stall. <laughs> why, would you, why would you get a hole in the wall? <laughs> <laughs> was that your idea? That was James's idea. I knew it. I was gonna say. I was like, I feel like that's James. <laughs> He's like, it's Joel set up. It's gonna be a glory hole in the bath. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> All right, whatever. Oh. oh my gosh. So Joel, we've covered the bathhouse with all of its many features. Yep. Your crappy deck. The casino. Are you ready for the ring? Oh, yes. Yes, I am. So, continuing with your theme of, <laughs> of crappy construction, we're going to take the staircase down here, which is a little bit rickety, missing one railing. You know, you have, like, the, the bottom down there is sealed up with the fencing, so no mirelers can get in. But and it's just a little bit of a... <laughs> it's, like, all twisted up. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't walk on that too much. <laughs> but it'll probably be fine. Again, like everything else that Joel does... You follow the rules, and what else? <laughs> or are you going to the, uh, what's this place called again? The, the, the pit, ring. Yeah, the pit's ring. the first yeah, the level. The pit's the ring, this is the ring. And this is the ring. And you pay, you, you pay, pay to, to watch. watch. <laughs> if you want front row seats, you gotta pay. So this is the ring. So this is where you've screwed up. You've killed somebody, or you've, like, stolen twice or three times. Um, yeah. Usually, let's say they steal twice. I say it's three strikes, but it's really the second strike. <laughs> it's like... Tricked you, <laughs> third strike in the ring. <laughs> you want to just like take their hand? I guess it's pretty kind, right? Yeah. yeah. So this is where people go if they've really broken the rules, because this way you can make money off of their death. People will have to pay to watch them die. <laughs> you get rid of the people you don't like, the troublemakers, and you make some money while doing so. This is awesome. Let's open up the ring, and as you can see, a match has taken place recently. There's some <laughs> old blood stains and some new blood stains, along with a very broken chair. So sad. <laughs> you look at like the splatter mark. It's like CSI or something. <laughs> um, and then just in case you've forgotten where you are, <laughs> Joel's Pleasure, Pleasure Island. Island. <laughs> we can go around the outside. That's the here. last thing you see. Oh, that would, <laughs> that would suck. That would suck so much. It's you know surrounded by piles of trash and spikes. Um, you get like a whole light system. You know, the main light is. Oh, I, I didn't know if there was a light system or an electrocution thing. Like, they're, they're not fighting. <laughs> you know what? I can add a conduit to the wall. Let's just le electrify the whole thing and just keep them all inside. Uh, that switch actually controls the light over in the amphitheater. If you watch in the background, you might see it. Oh, it's actually over the right. You can't really see it. But that'll. That's cool. Swap the lights over there. And if you try to escape the ring, if you don't fight honorably for your death, you might get impaled on a pike. You'll entertain us in some manner. Yeah. Like, if you fight like a coward, your body's going to be on display afterwards. Because you, you fought like a coward. <laughs> and then... <laughs> People are eating over here to the left. I know. <laughs> Dude, the dining hall is like right... Look, look at that. <laughs> it's like a perfect view of the ring. 
And then, you know... People are playing board games across the street. <laughs> I had originally designed this, once again, for you guys that maybe didn't catch it in the first video. We're playing pool. This is supposed to be like a vacation resort, right? So this was like mm -hmm. a play amphitheater. So you've kept the old, nice clock that was part of the amphitheater. But now, it times the matches to the death. <laughs> and you've also... Come see the 330 mat! <laughs> you have like an old... Uh, uh, I think it's a tower, like a conning tower off of a boat with like an old advertisement on it. And then, in the name of commercialism, your Nuka-Cola girl flag. <laughs> How nice, refreshing Nuka-Cola while you watch people fight to the death in Joel's <laughs> ring. <laughs> Sometimes a Myra Lurk or two are thrown in. And you've already noticed some of the entertainment stuff, so let's scoot around this side, around all the chains and trash. The people who died of exposure before they could fight. You'll get rid of the skeleton someday. There's one up top too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, you can also. You made a bowling alley. There's a bowling alley. Like <laughs> right beside. Right beside the ring. So, and again, Joel, you think that bowling alley's free, just sitting out there for anyone to use? Uh, of course not. Of course not. <laughs> Ten <laughs> caps per game, and occasionally, let's say that someone was a real big coward in the ring. I mean, you might get an even more humiliating punishment than being put up on one of the stakes. <laughs> that's awesome! <laughs> Someone's been bowling now, with someone's Now, when I head. say that's awesome, I'm not really a horrible person that wants to do all this, but for the sake of Fallout and craziness, this is really well done. Th this, awesome. is, this is very Fallout. Uh, it just is in alignment with Joel's character. <laughs> let's, let's not kid ourselves. I mean, we enjoy Game of Thrones, where it's pretty dark and stuff like that. It's nice to have that evil, evil villain to eventually take out, which I'm totally fine with. <laughs> but before he goes out, he's gonna have lots of fights. <laughs> Will the general succeed in stopping Joel's plan? <laughs> I doubt it. This is a whole island. <laughs> uh, and along with your ten caps that you can do uh, to play, you know, a nice game of bowling, possibly with someone's vanquished head, you can also play pool. I mean, every every entertainment resort's gotta have some pool, right? That's awesome. That's probably like the least dark thing in this entire island is a nice pool table. Just next to the ring. <laughs> Those pool cues are pretty small. Yeah, they, actually they are. They are pretty small. They're Joel sized pool cues. <laughs> yeah. And then this Joel is your podium for announcing the fights. <laughs> yes. <laughs> overlooking the bowling alley and overlooking the uh Wait, the Is there a bell itself. over there? <laughs> actually I I forgot it. Oh there it is, yeah. <laughs> there, there's a bell for starting the fights. <laughs> I almost forgot about that actually. And your creepy Bioshock like candles on the old pre-war yeah, fountain. Yeah, fill there. <laughs> I would fill it up with water and blood. Yeah. I was gonna. I was, I was expecting blood. blood. Okay. I actually wasn't thinking blood, but thank you. You corrected me. Oh, come on, Joel. Now, you you actually... <laughs> like a little wiser, just skulls in there. <laughs> <laughs> There's just some skeletons hanging out. Um, you actually missed something back here, Joel, so we're gonna backtrack. What do all of my settlements have tons of? Besides all the flags and the propaganda, <laughs> um, Minutemen statues, right? Like, it's yeah. always, like, remember who this settlement belongs to. The Minutemen are fighting for you. Yeah. You had a statue, like, in the way of your pit, of your fighting ring. So you just threw it off to the side, like, in the dirt. <laughs> I think it's George Washington or someone. I actually can't tell. It's, like, all corroded. That's awesome. So, yeah, you just basically threw that statue aside. It looks like I shot it with a gun, too. Actually, it does, doesn't it? It's kind of hollowed out. Um, let's get back over here. And this is a bit of an inside joke just for you, Joel. Uh, if you want to rest and relax, just enjoy some outdoor air. Meet some new friends. Why not come over to Joel's personal invention? <laughs> That's the, awesome. The circle couch. Where That's you're, awesome. <laughs> Joel, when you came up with this idea, what did you say? Like, our feet can just touch. <laughs> yeah, it's a circle couch. You all sit in the middle and everyone's feet overlap each other and feet touch. <laughs> I don't want this. <laughs> but apparently you do because you built a circle couch for your island. So there you go. Joel's circle couch. Uh. So now we've seen the ring, the little bits of entertainment, even with their... Slightly dark twists. <laughs> so, I mean, okay, very dark twists. Have, have, have you seen uh, the Daniel Day Lewis movie, uh, There Will Be Blood? No, I have not. That's actually. all I will say. Okay. Yeah, For those who have seen the movie, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. That is a poster with a custom transparency texture that I then just rotated to be flat against the floor. It's actually a wow. poster to make the blood splatters. And I used uh, console commands to scale the splatters big and small for different size splatters. <laughs> You're smirking at me. <laughs> 
Now, Joel, we've talked about um, back in part one how you can rent out a uh, room on the third floor of the Pleasure Palace up there. Well, you can see the same room, so that's awesome. And the red lights, you know what's up there. Yeah. 109 caps, you get company in a nice room, right? Or the kind of rip-off rooms, the 109 caps a night for the fake old world uh, dorm room, basically. Yeah. But let's say that you can't afford those 109 cap a night rooms. Do you think Joel would let anyone stay at Pleasure Island, even if they're spending caps for free? They paid their entry no. fee, don't forget. No, I wouldn't. No. So let's say you can't afford the nice rooms. Where do you stay? And that's why I built a shanty town on the side back here, overlooking, <laughs> <laughs> overlooking the uh, the walls in the back here. These are the remind you, this is where you might or most likely will be going. And even still, the shanty town is thirty caps a night. <laughs> so, past all the casino signs and additionally a killer be killed sign, I have no idea where that's from, but it it fit in perfectly. We've got. Shanty number one, and again, kind of like my uh, my farm builds. One of the things I love to do is all this was just bare sand. I actually built up all of these individual props and all here. I can go all these boards right here. Yeah, that's awesome. And then of course, you know, plenty of trash in the gutters. <laughs> all that trash you place? Yeah, yeah. All the trash down here I had to place because this was just all bare. Oh sand right, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Which is why all these boards I had to place as well. well let's go up here. Let's see what uh, 30 caps a night gets you. No begging. <laughs> <laughs> no loitering either, unless you're paying your caps. Beggars go into <laughs> the fight. Back alley bowling takes on a whole new meaning over here on Pleasure Island. <laughs> That's the back of the casino there. Yeah, anyway, let's go on in and see what 30 caps for rent can get you. Well, that's pretty packed. Not a whole lot of furnishings. You've got a real crappy, sagging couch. I like those little beds up there. It's kind of like, uh, kind of like bunk beds, or I don't know, kind of like <laughs> someone brought a typewriter as a journalist. <laughs> Notice how there's no person along with the typewriter. <laughs> no stories are written about Pleasure Island. <laughs> Only the rumors go to the mainland. <laughs> and a lantern, and someone's got. Uh, Oops. <laughs> He's now the skeleton in one of those cells. <laughs> someone's working on some clothes here. Got some thread and a hammer and some leather and stuff. And a hairbrush. That's a pretty nice bed. It's got a nice pillow. I mean, that's that's not bad. Yeah. Just hope that you're the first one to rent this this yeah, room yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the best bed. So you know that's that's okay. But still, thirty caps a night. Like it's like dirt, like open back wall, cinder block, real rough shod. You know, and in the honor of of gambling. The legend of New Vegas out in the west i definitely admire them i admire them very much yeah yeah and if i can't be them i'll be someone else you'll <laughs> admire. <laughs> you're working on it so we're gonna take i'm gonna actually just look over here at the second room here this is kind of like a loft version uh this is the back wall of pleasure island next to your house which we'll get to here in a second uh some extra power lines and turrets and again giant piles of trash like this is really the room that you don't want. It's again still 30 caps a night. Usually the the lower loft fills up first and this one comes second because it's even more crowded and crappy. Like 30 caps a night for a mattress that's like touching someone else's mattress. That sucks. <laughs> it's got some uh, pinups in the wall and bits of ammo and lanterns and uh, someone's got like a smoking problem back here. <laughs> a whole pile of cigarettes. I wouldn't pay 30 caps a night for that, but then again, people here don't have a choice. Well, you do give them a choice. They can sleep outside the walls with all the mire lurks and yeah. the pit. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I mean, if, if they don't want to pay for a nice, safe room in the walls, stay outside the walls. See how that goes for you. <laughs> and go out on the deck here. And then you have a great view from this this raised balcony of the uh, the lights, <laughs> the stadium lights, which are leaning a little you know, as horrible as this place would be. I would love to visit this place. You'd be in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be in the pit immediately. Immediately like, in the pit. Like, like, I'd, just, I'd just be like, I ain't paying, like, in the pit. Like, yes! <laughs> and of course the generator belching smoke right into the poorly sealed rooms. <laughs> <laughs> We've talked, Joel. You've got your enforcers, your guards walking around. Uh, one of them, by the way, is wearing, like, a priest robe, like, with a Bible in his back belt. And he carries a sword for thieves. Just take a hand. <laughs> He's one of your enforcers, but 
we've talked a bit about how you know the cat buckets where you're just like paying for a game or if you use the dance floor they're kind of out in the open right and your guards might catch thieves but like you said it's almost like it's like bait like you're trying to get people to steal to go to the pit but you don't want too many people steal yeah 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 because then it could get out of control quickly like you want limited anarchy where you can get some workers in the pit but wouldn't you say joel you'd want some extra enforcement to really put Put the fear of Joel into people yeah. so that most of the people would obey the rules. Yeah. That's why you built a custom automatron to help guard Joel's spectacle <laughs> island, your own pleasure island. His name is Arbiter. <laughs> <laughs> and he's currently guarding your house. Can you guess which house is your house? <laughs> yeah. Would you like to meet to the Arbiter? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> Spinning saw blades of doom. Actually, I'll be back. Oh, later. oh he wants to talk. Uh, you guys will be able to hear in the video. He has the most terrifying, like processed, uh, like robot voice. Like it, it is, <laughs> it is truly terrifying. And right now he's in kind of like guard mode, standby mode. But if he aggro's, if he gets pissed off, those eyes glow red, and he looks terrifying. He's got a death claw helm on. What kind of gun is that on the left or his right hand? He is armed. Left arm is a saw blade for thieves. You don't want the arbiter to catch yeah. you stealing. He catches you stealing, you're hoping for the pit and not for the blade. <laughs> you're hoping for the pit. His right arm is a railroad spike nail gun. With, oh, man. With extra spikes on it so he can use it as like a Choo -choo. battery. Choo -choo. That's like justice. A, he can use like it as a, as a battery ram too. Uh, yeah, he is, he is the arbiter. And he is the main reason that most people do actually fall. I'm like rules. a little pissed because... You have so much stuff, Dave. Like, I, I, I can't build, like, half the things in Automaton. I'm just barely scraping by. This guy is decked out. He's got extra armor everywhere. Like, look at those arms. Well, all the extra the gears. Time. All the extra extra pack for carrying your loot. <laughs> for camping. <laughs> <laughs> for camp. Camping with all your caps. <laughs> all systems uh, oh, 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 he's talking again. <laughs> oh, ugh. He's just like, he won't even look at you. <laughs> Screw you. So I can walk awesome. away. I need to actually probably look and see what he's saying to me. Actually, there we go. I'll be back later. Uh, when we do our settlement defense, Joel, the Institute is going to try and take out Joel's Pleasure Island, and we're going to get the Arbiter as our follower, and he's going to help protect the settlement. He's going to he's going to go wild. Uh, but we have one last thing just to check out real quick before we go check out your house. Let's turn that UI back off. This is a guard tower just to help seal up the back corner of your settlement because it is next to your house, right? Real simple, but uh, a great view of the back ocean where you also have a rowboat ready for an emergency, unpowered, quiet escape in the night if you need to. <laughs> <laughs> you can go to that little floating platform out there off the shore and just... And then get picked up by another boat. Yeah, perfect, right? Um, and your guard tower is pretty sparsely... Uh, well, this is for my guards. I, don't I mean, yeah, it's got some supplies, and I think over here they've got a single crappy fan. I'm going to fall down the stairs if I'm not careful. Uh, some ammo and a clipboard so they can just keep an eye on things. Like You have a great view of the back beaches here and those uh, shipping containers. And, of course, an open window on this side so that the guards in the tower can also make sure that people who are supposed to be fighting in the ring are fighting and that no one's stealing. Just make sure that inside... All the rules are being followed too. How the crap did you get the robot to just sit there? It's a guard post. He's actually on guard at your house. Oh, really? Yeah, he's ac he's actually he'll stay there. He'll guard your house. That's awesome. The arbiter is always on the lookout for thieves and rule breakers, but his main goal is to protect you. Cause you you're gonna make some enemies on Joel's pleasure. Dave, Island. you have gotten good at this game. <laughs> I just noticed too. It's kind of cool. You can see the uh, dance floor like light boxes flashing inside the window up there. <laughs> I just noticed you have a traffic. Like a traffic light. The traffic light to stop and start the fights. And I know you guys are going to ask in the comments, so I'll... That's <laughs> like my <laughs> thumbs up. Finish him, red light. <laughs> I know you guys are going to ask, so I'm going to answer in the comments. Once the Workshop DLC comes out, I believe next week, I'll be doing a special one-off video where I'm going to return to the ring here on Joel's Pleasure Island. And I'm going to probably clear it out, maybe move the bowling alley just a bit, open it up just a bit, and turn it into an actual fighting pit that actually works. That's awesome. So it'll be a, a third entry in the Spectacle Island series. Um, I wanted to go ahead and record this tour, though, just because I'm up to, like, 96 mods now. 
I used a lot of them in this build. I was just a little afraid that, like, if I didn't go ahead and do the tour before the update came out, that things could break. You know, I didn't want to take that risk. Uh, but we can always come back. Come back for more. And the last bit of more that we have... If we bring your caps, you're going to need <laughs> Always bring your caps to Joel's Pleasure Island. <laughs> We're going to go around all the piles of trash and nastiness to check out <laughs> Joel's house. This is a welcome sign. <laughs> Government property, no trespassing. I like that you gave me like the perfect, just crappy old chair. That's exactly what I want. I would sit there, maybe with my shotgun. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it's got cushions. It's close enough. Yeah. And, and Joel, one of the things that you always say, go into your, go into your <laughs> room here. Cannibalism for healthy teeth and guts. You always say like when the apocalypse happens, like I'm just gonna start eating people. Like might as well cross that line. <laughs> you have said that before. <laughs> You're like I'm just gonna go crazy right away and just survive. So. So, let's just say for your Fallout character, Joel, for you, being born into the post-apocalyptic world, that was your new world. You are the Christopher Columbus of this new horrible <laughs> island. So for you, you love the war, the nukes exploding, whoop. <laughs> this was the start of your brave new world. <laughs> you got your TV going. Over your crappy unused bathtub with oh it's handcuffs next to it. I actually forgot about those. <laughs> Was that for me? Just for me personally? For the bathtub. Begin again. <laughs> it's your brave new world, Joel. And then over here on your bed, you've got a, you've got a mannequin in bed with you, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cover that. You just let that sit out there. <laughs> the head like on a spike, the anarchy flag. I've been reading some comics. Uh, <laughs> and been drawing some. <laughs> <laughs> you have your master key. I mean, no one's going to steal the master key off your bedside stand with the arbiter outside. That's not going to happen. Or I'll light you on fire with me. <laughs> you got to have the Norman poster in Joel's, in Joel's bedroom. And plenty of guns everywhere. And, you know... Dude, Booma Man! I love that movie. Really? I've seen it. Yeah, Riff Tracks. Really? Like the Mr. Science Theater guys. Yeah, dude, that movie is amazing. It's like, what the F? Well, that worked out great then. It's <laughs> so awesome. He flies like a moron. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, you got to have... Both handsome uh, gentlemen and women on your posters. <laughs> uh, I think you have a Tommy gun also. Yeah, back behind your bed, just in case. Um, and then in your bathroom. <laughs> and see, I don't need that sign, that poster, but I want that poster. You want that poster in there. <laughs> I'm going to turn my light off. you got your little sink back here. And we can go out your back door. And in case, let's say, like, the riots get out of control, like, people are freaking out, maybe your staff has, like, barricaded themselves, you're on your own. I mentioned earlier, Joel, that we had, like, kind of, like, a deal with the devil thing going on. Mm -hmm. Like, you're the head of the Minutemen Secret Police. I don't really like your in-game character, but I need your in-game character to keep the Minutemen settlement safe. So if, if it really goes bad and, like, it's going down, everything's, everything's on fire, you can actually escape out your back door. <laughs> Help us. <laughs> and you can activate your personal fallout shelter and just hide inside, put a flare up, and wait for General Dave to come rescue you. Deal with the devil. <laughs> That's awesome. If, if it really comes down to it, <laughs> you can send for help. But wait, Joel, now that we're outside, there's a little bit more to look at. Even past the Pleasure Island awaits the, uh, the edge of the settlement here with your house and the anarchy flag. <laughs> I mentioned earlier that um, it's a bit of an honor to die in the ring, right? Like, you want to fight honorably, you don't want to die a coward. Even if you're a thief or a murderer, like, go out with honors. So, if you do that, if you fight well, maybe you kill somebody else, you kill a death claw or something, or you just put up a good fight, even, uh, you get the honor of actually being buried in a gravesite. <laughs> this is your honorable death. I mean, the headstones are kind of crappy. Someone's got a nice Brahmin skull there. But this is what you actually want. Like, you want to die with honor, you get a nice actual, actual, like, plot of land to be buried in, right? Mm-hmm. Even has a great view of the pit. <laughs> Instead of a 21 gun salute, it's a 21, like, Nuka Cat, or a Nuka Cola salute. <laughs> or just 21 <laughs> shovel packs they bury you. <laughs> 21 shovel packs. <laughs> but Joel, what happens if you don't fight honorably? I mean, some people go on the spike, obviously, like, as an yeah, example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you'd imagine that, like, people wanting to come to Pleasure Island for fun, there's going to be a lot of people, a decent amount, they are going to die with dishonor. What do you do with them, do you think? Do you give them a nice burial? They fought like cowards? Of course not. Of course not. There's another pit. And it's for the cowards. <laughs> if you don't die with honor, 
Let's see if I can find it here. Let's see. Oh, yep, there's the fire. There's the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Over here in the little quarry is the second pit. <laughs> That's where the cowards are thrown. Let's just say it's always burning. The, the bonfires are always burning. <laughs> this is like you're like Spartan, like they are not worthy. Throw them in the pit. Was this like pit already here? Uh, no, I actually built up, well, the cliffside was here. I built up the rest of the rocks and uh, I used a fireplace and rescaled it to make the bonfire. And actually down here, <laughs> if I can scoot past all the skeletons, it's like a whole pile of bodies like down in the pit. Like, you've just been throwing bodies here for like years. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, Joel, that is the pit for the cowards. But let's let's talk for just a second going back to your house about all the signs do you think this is all joel you think this is it the, the sign what do you mean like signs you know all the rule signs that are everywhere yeah what do they say this unit is ready to serve. thieves and murders get the ring and rule breakers get the pit yeah but you being you have a second meaning for the first one for the <laughs> this is not two tiers of punishment joel there's more than just the pit and the ring this is kind of a little inside joke, just just for you. This is a second pit. Joel's special pit. <laughs> yeah! This is for people that don't just murder someone or really break the rules, like, say, multiple times. This is for people that just gotten under your skin. They defied you openly, tried to lead a rebellion or something. These are the people where you want to enjoy their suffering. So there's a secret pit. Oh, man. And again, this is why the Arbiter is guarding your house, besides the fact that you sleep here. <laughs> Let's go back in here. And I'm going to use a quick command here to unlock this storage door. Are you ready, Joel, to see Joel's special pit? Help us! I like how I keep those words out of there. <laughs> and of course, the security gate's usually closed, but... Uh... Let's go check out Joel's special pit. We'll just come down the trapdoor ladder. You ready, Joel? I'm ready. Welcome to Joel's special pit. <laughs> this is where people go that just disappear. <laughs> I think it's in my house. It's under your house. It's, a, yeah. it's, the, it's the secret pit. Holy crap, that's a lot of uh, lock or safes. Yeah, you, you like your safe wall, Joel? I mean, you're making some serious caps. You gotta hide your caps. What? What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what goes on here. As you can see, you've had a few victims recently that have stopped How in for tea. did you all the blood? It was like teeth or something uh, pulled apart, bone saw. And it's actually hard and to the tell. I love to have the radio there, because that would be playing the music. <laughs> oh, you want to turn the radio on, Joel? Yeah, you gotta playing have your, my tunes. Yeah. <laughs> You get a great signal under your basement. <laughs> you notice too, it's actually hard to see in all the blood. There's like a saw blade on the left there with a hammer. And you're having tea with the severed heads. <laughs> There's little teacups and little, little snack. How did you get it all bloody? How did you do that? There's a guy who made a mod where he made ten different basements you can use for your settlements. He had it like already set up in the settlement. And the way it works is projecting the blood onto the surfaces. So I can scoot props into the blood and it projects it onto the top. Oh, so anything you put in there is essentially the blood. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So if you look, there's like, there's like a like a saw and a hammer on the ground. Oh my gosh. You would have this though, Joel, wouldn't you? Like people who just antifreeze. <laughs> oh yeah, you saw the antifreeze bottle. Oh, are you are you dehydrated? Oh, dude. Oh, I made this and now I'm cringy. <laughs> You know, though, Joel, if you had this much power and authority and, like, people who crossed you, you'd have somewhere special for them to be taken to. And I would put some of their limbs in there to pull, like, I'd pull out, like, you know. Like, oh, you mean, like, like over here in the fridge? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's kind of scary that I'm, like, saying this and then you actually build it. I think I know you a little bit too well, Joel. This is a little scary. <laughs> um, and then the, the poor cat thing blood all over it. <laughs> oh, man. I love how when you come back up, you're, like, staring right in the face of the help us graffiti. It's, like, right in your face. <laughs> yeah, let's let's close that back up. You'll return to tea later. General Dave is not interested in tea. General Dave is out of here. Uh, but Joel... You haven't called me on something that usually you're one to be like, Dave, you didn't think of this, but 
When we came in the island, we swam in, right? Yeah. There was a boat there. You yeah. haven't asked me how people get here. You think the Minutemen would like allow people to sail from the castle to go to Pleasure Island? Oh, I, well, I, th I thought there was boats that come in by the dock, right? There are, right. But if you look across the water there, the closest settlement is actually the castle. And of course, General Dave's not going to allow, you know, a, a ferry over to Pleasure Island from the Minutemen's capital. You haven't asked me, where did the boats come from? Where did the boats come from? <laughs> this is this is too easy, Joel. Oh, I thought of that too. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do a quick fast travel because I set up a ferry dock to go to Pleasure Island. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's awesome. do a quick fast travel and we'll check okay. it out. So let's say, Joel, that I kind of like the tight field of view there. That's kind of cool. Um, you want to go to Pleasure Island. So we're going to go over here, past the dead raider. Thank you, turrets. Oh, like face down in the puddle. We're going to stop in at Nordhagen Beach. I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, this was a settlement that at one time was loosely affiliated with the Minutemen. Like, I found this one pretty early on. I rescued them from, I think it was like a, a super mutant attack. But... I hadn't really invested a lot of time into them, so when Joel came along, wanting a new launch point for Pleasure Island, they were willing to take Joel's caps, and the Minutemen flags came down. I actually went in, I removed the Minutemen flags that I'd, I'd already put up. Like, even as crappy as this place was, I still had flags in the wall. I was like, come on. <laughs> I made myself laugh, but I, I hadn't been here in months. I found this in like November, and I hadn't been back in a long time. <laughs> so uh, just a quick look around here, honestly, it's, it's pretty pretty crappy. It's a it's a fishing and it's a farming village and the only flag that's left is the American flag. Just a symbol of old times, right? But the Minutemen flag is gone. We got like a power generator uh, just to help run the lights and just a very small farm, some very crappy, rusty, broken power armor. Real simple. But where they make their money is the ferry to Pleasure Island. And this was just a nice sandy beach. I'm not going to bother scrapping all the items because literally this was a piece of sand and water. There was nothing here. Uh, but you kind of expect that now, I think. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is where you can I go. I love the, the, the power. The, the, just with the pole. Power. Pole. The actual power pole. Yeah, there it is. Is it yeah. called a power pole? I feel like it's going to be a better word than a power pole. <laughs> this just sounds bad. Utility pole? I mean, yeah, I guess utility. Yeah, actually, this is one of my favorite mods uh, for electrical stuff. Power pole is one of the things you can pay caps for at Pleasure Whoa. Island. <laughs> Joel's power pole on Pleasure Island. Uh, it's one of those things, like, just for my personal immersion, I love it. Cause I can, it's like repurposed old power lines. And you'll notice, Joel, I actually, like, lean them sideways a bit, kind of crappy in the sand, by hand, as you do. As you do. <laughs> yeah, as I do, at least. Um, but this is where you load up your supplies for Pleasure Island. And again... Plenty of guards on duty. Not really guarding the farm. The farm can kind of just fend for itself. They're here to protect, you know, the food, the clothes, yes. hopefully the penicillin and medicine going out to that island. Uh, they're here to keep an eye on things. Um, it's got a little fire barrel there it's for warmth and all the cargo just ready to be loaded up with the crane to be taken out to the island, right? Mm hmm. And of course, you got your advertisements. Pleasure Island awaits. Pleasant company for all. A little bit ripped and torn, but you've uh, you've kind of paid some extra caps under the table to whatever printer is printing all my Minuteman propaganda for some Pleasure Island posters to, to put got, up. I've got my connection. And, uh, you know, guys, keep an eye out in the future, because you might see these advertisements for Pleasure Island popping up in other builds here and there. <laughs> trying to spread the, spread the, I'm not going to call it good news, the news of Pleasure Island. Not, nothing good about it. Uh... <laughs> Here. I feel like this is one of these you walk in, they close the door, it's like, you're going to the pit, son. <laughs> we need more fighters. No stairs, just some uh, some boards to walk up inside. Some lockers to store your stuff till you get back. Some supplies for working on the boats, extra medical supplies. And here's the office where you can buy your tickets to Pleasure Island. That's awesome. And of course, uh, we mentioned earlier, it's like 30 caps for the ride, but it's a one-way ticket. So if you pay your 30 caps and you get out there and you're like, I'm not paying 109 caps to get in, you gotta pay 30 to come back. I mean, you might as well pay the entry fee at that point, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, was it 209 caps to get in now? You raised the price recently. Yeah, 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 it was like, yeah, 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 it's 209. <laughs> oh, jeez. I imagine you have some returns then, but, you know, maybe the boat won't leave for, like, 12, 
24 hours. You gotta do something. Oh, dude, you know what that means? Yeah, what are you gonna do? I guess you're gonna go gamble. If the, if the boat doesn't go, but like once a day, you have to pay the entry price to even have the option to rent a room inside the walls. So, <laughs> dude, if you, if you rode the boat out to the island and you didn't want to pay the entry fee, you'd, you'd have to stand on the dock. Or like dive in the water and like go out to the, like the sandy shores and like with all the mire looks. <laughs> no one stay on your boat for free. Come on, Joel. You wouldn't let them do that. No, they could maybe stand on the dock. They just have to wait on the dock. And as we go out here, you can see there's the the gangplank to come out here. Okay, okay. Holy crap! I was thinking on the other side. If you look on, look to your right, I'll, uh, or I or guess scoot around a little bit. Like there was like the area where I have all like the supplies and stuff. I yeah. was like. That's not a very nice way for people to be able to get on board. <laughs> of course. Containers to block the view. Oh, I think I fell. So we get back over. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, in the in the water. Let's just go around this way. We can actually, if you already have your ticket, just take the gangplank right across. Now taking the fishing boat, Joel, and notice that it is flying that Nuka Cola girl flag <laughs> with the anarchy flag in between the two towers up there at the top. You're flying that flag proudly. And you know, you want people to at least be somewhat protected from the weather as they go out to the Pleasure Island. You built this super crappy, like, bench and canopy on the back of the boat. It's basically a ferry now instead of a fishing boat. <laughs> oh, that's cool. You can, like, look out and Did see. Did you actually place that seat in there? Yeah. It was, like, an wow. empty deck. I actually built, like, the I guess actually you have the mods so you can do that. Okay. Yeah, I can place things anywhere. Um, it's a great view of the destroyed airport behind it, too. That looks kind of awesome. So how long of a, 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 a travel? How long travel time would it be? Can Pleasure Island. Island. Yeah, can you see it? Uh, no, you can't. It's actually, okay. um, well, actually, okay. We're in this harbor here. Let's, yeah. Oh, gosh. Is that, Isn't that it? Straight ahead? It's a mire lurk. Yeah, that's actually, I'm pretty sure. Let's tighten that field of view down to, like, 20. Yeah, that's Pleasure Island, way out there. You can see, like, some of the shell of the house. So, yeah, that's, like... Maybe a 10 minute journey for 30 cabs. I mean, I guess diesel is probably pretty expensive to run the boat. I mean, it's not just that. It's, it's, you, we're allowing you to go there to experience the fun. Yeah. The yeah. pleasure. I mean, you don't have to swim past all those monstrosities to get there. <laughs> all right, Joel. Did we miss anything? Did we cover it all? I think we did. I mean, unless there's any more secrets. I, I think that's enough secrets for today. <laughs> I think it's time to test your defenses and see how Joel's Pleasure Island would hold up to an attack by the Institute. I mean, I've... I've I, well, I feel like, what if instead of the Institute, what if we have, like, going with how the people are there, I kind of want, like, an attack from the inside, like you have the people who just can't pay, and they just think... Ra raiders, then. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> just, okay. Just like raiders. A, a riot. Just, have a riot. Let's have a riot. Not, yeah, just regular citizens riot. All right, let's do it. Just see how my chainsaw robot... Okay, folks, we're back on Pleasure Island together. <laughs> <laughs> and Joel, you suggested a riot? Yeah, I just figured people who can't afford caps or they're pissed at my, I don't know, the way I run things. Yeah. They're going to get angry. So that's only going to make me more happy. <laughs> the Arbiter is ready for those angry people, Joel. Oh, yes, it is. I love how the saw blade just constantly spins. <laughs> it's always ready to hack off a limb. So I'm thinking, um,. Any kind of riot would be kind of raider style, like junky weapons, where they can scrap from outside of the island or steal from you. Um, here we go. We should have some rioters very shortly. Let's go out past your house here. I guess General Dave can help with the defense. Oh, I see some smoke. Whoa! Raider, raider, <laughs> Alright, they're heavily armored, it looks like. The first turret's working on them. They're throwing some grenades. Whoa. This! Oh! There's an attack dog center, which probably just drowned. Oh, they spawned out behind the amphitheater. Sucks for those guys. Alright. We'll let that turret take care of them. Let's join the fight up here. Easy now. Hands up. Oh, wow, he's got some health! <laughs> Don't do anything Not stupid. Your pistol. There we go. You're gonna do what I say. Attack him. You're coming with me. Yes. Oh, where'd he go? 
<laughs> he, <went laughs> he, <the> he teleported <laughs> away. <laughs> oh boy. Where's the Arbiter? Oh, there you are. Come on out, little buddy. I think he's stuck on the gate, so just to help out his poor path body, I'm just gonna remove the gate. He, like, fell off the ceiling when I removed that. Oh! Do it! Do it! <laughs> Holy crap! Can you imagine fighting that, Joel? The dog just, like, jumped like, smacked it down. Come on, buddy. I didn't ever even get to your robot. Oh, no, the, the, the real gun's firing. The sledgehammer is awesome. <laughs> he does like the, he does like the Daisy smack. <laughs> <laughs> the zombie smack. <laughs> what are you on this round? Oh, oh, <laughs> dude, the guy with the rocket launcher is like hiding. He's running. You know what that means, Joel? You get for the legs. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. I forgot to mention, Joel. You're ready to expand. All that concrete you're smashing, you're gonna build some new housing out here on the dock. Did you, did you make this? Yeah. Well, I added the sign to it. Yeah, this, yeah. this was already here, but um, my <laughs> idea was like you're ready to lease out this crappy container ship outside the wall is like 10 cap a night housing. <laughs> Let's go over the hill here and see what's up. Oh, that's awesome. He's actually firing from the gun tower. Oh, look at that. The guard tower at the pit has killed like a whole bunch of them out here. Oh, they're fighting. Oh, he's in power armor. Not going to save him, though. Oh, dude, the saw blade right to the face. Does he have like the ability to catch people on fire? I think he does, yeah. Everyone that guy touches. This guy's like hunting. I think there's like a World War II soldier. Got the combat rifle. I'm just gonna let the arbiter get him with the real gun. He's running again. Should I put him down, Joel? Yeah, he's gonna be buried in the fire. <laughs> Splash goes his gun. Wow. So that was a short riot. <laughs> Pleasure Island knows how to protect itself. Protect the flow of caps. We say we don't want fights, but that's really more to just instigate fights because we want more workers in the labor camp. He had whiskey on him too. That's that's drinks for the keep, bar. And it keeps the whole like mysterious aspect of it. You know, people on the mainland they're like, "What is that place?" It's probably awesome. Yeah, you should come here. And then when you get there, you're like, I never should have left home, Mom. <laughs> and now I can't because I can't afford the boat ride back. <laughs> yeah. Actually, knowing you, Joel, the boat ride out is like 30 caps, and the return ride is like 500 caps to get home. <laughs> yeah. Like, I should probably just gamble. Like, I can just earn that money back real quick yeah. and, and help it grow and then earn my ride home. That's, that's a good plan. <laughs> yeah, we welcome them. All your bartenders came out to fight, too. <laughs> Joel, I feel like we need to see ass. if they can get in this side. What's that? Okay. Yeah, I, I feel like that wasn't enough of a riot. Let's see, senior bartenders and all are, like, actually ready to join the fight. Round two. Oh, he just teleported away. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Ar Arbiter, no, not the support post. <laughs> We'll hang out on this side this time and see if we can see anything from the guard tower. I think the attack starts on oh, the yeah. other side. Ooh, ooh, I see him. <laughs> by the boat. They snuck in by boat. Makes sense, actually. Ron Hume. Hmm? All right. Oh, a mag just happened to you. Oh, ow, oh, ow. Stand back. <laughs> All right, you know what? I feel like his legs are done for. Shotgun it is. Yeah. Dude, uh, do you have a 
I don't actually like that man. And I actually need to get cover. Where's the Arbiter? Come help me, you fool. You dumb <laughs> robots. He's like, don't worry, the caps are safe. <laughs> <laughs> Joel's house is secure. <laughs> Dummy. Oh, actually, there might be people inside. Oh, yeah, they're trying to get in the fence down here. But Dave thought of that, too. <laughs> no gaps. Oh. I got a missile on. The missiles can't get through. Someone was, though. No, I mean, like, like you could, with a real missile, you could, like... Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that that's secure now. And those bodies will be washing up against the shore for years to come. All the guards are like, do I get a piece? <laughs> Oh, one of the guard dogs got inside. These bodies are going on the spikes. <laughs> More spikes for the walls. <laughs> I think she has the M14. <laughs> the guy with that pants. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him marching He's along. He's a badass. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, they're coming in the back door now. I think the turret out front took care of the guys down by the boat because the missiles have stopped. I had put some pretty good shotgun blast into them. I love that they actually retreat too. Like they actually get scared as they should. Oh, plasma! Take your legs, and then I take your legs. Oh no! I thought I had the pistol out. <laughs> I love the shell like rolling down the hill. Really? Really? You want to go? Oh, there's more. Right there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no surrender on Pleasure Island. Holy crap, that beach is glittered. The shotgun shell is just rolling down into the surf. It's a good day on Pleasure Island. <laughs> well, as usual, I think it's time to call it secure. Yeah. I mean, that was... I mean, my I mean, my character in the game is probably not even. He's. I, I'm probably taking a nap right now, like, and just going to sleep to the sounds of murder. Joel, you were the guy at the tower with the Tommy. Oh, oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, that was me. Yeah. Uh. Well, I can't get you at the moment, but I'm gonna hide. You're, you're actually covering me right now. You're up at the tower. <laughs> the splinters fly everywhere. Let's see if I can come out and get this guy. I think I got more bows. Get down with that. Just. Where is he? There you are. Put your hands up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Oh, 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 my legs are broken. Let's see if I can get his friend to hit him. There are more missile launcher guys out in the... Oh, behind the pit. Out of the way. <laughs> the other pit, too. <laughs> that shotgun is just... Golly. I don't use it most of the time because it, like death claws, I can kneecap them and then they just die. <laughs> it finally safe? <laughs> Look, your bartender put on his knee pads to come out and fight, but not pants. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, gotta protect those knees. <laughs> my, my tidy whities are my working knees. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I feel icky. <laughs> they are watching these though. <laughs> Dude, your bartender shot the gun out of his hands. See the guy right by the. I tried to smack him with a revolver. <laughs> That's convenient, right? Just loot him, put the body in the hole. <laughs> I mean, the, the pit fire is already burning. This is gonna yeah. be a quick cleanup. <laughs> more out here. This is kind of awesome that all the settlers in their skimpy outfits have like run out to fight, and they're actually helping because the uh, the turrets are distracting them. <laughs> We're trying to like hold these boats out here like a fortress. Oh! Don't do anything stupid. Okay, so this is great. He surrendered to me, right? Give a sledgehammer. Uh, I have something better. A little yeah. serious baseball bat. Ugh. <coughs> oh. Is that it? Any more left? Oh, oh. Oh. 
<laughs> Look, the bat's all bloody already. Oh, he's got his broken power armor on. Oh. Dude, your arbiter with the sword! Holy crap, look at him! It's like all bloody! <laughs> <laughs> Rule breaker has been dispensed <laughs> with, Mr. Joel. <laughs> that is terrifying. <laughs> his, I'm hunting wabbits. <laughs> he's got the Bible in like his back pocket. <laughs> Raging rolling pin. Ooh. What? I did not know you had you those kind of weapons. But in the interest of keeping things legitimate, I don't save after I loot after a raid. I consider it cheating. <laughs> and again, I don't think I mentioned this before, but everything built here was either looted or purchased, like settlement supplies purchased from uh, Diamond City to build this. 100% legit from scratch. As you do. <laughs> because I'm insane. Anyway, um, now that the fight is officially over, I want to check in with you, Joel, because you had quite the body count over here. Like, dude, holy crap. All these guys behind the pit? Look out there. Oh, let me get my pistol out. That's going to be breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the people working in the pit. Joel, your NPC massacred like an entire incoming squad by himself. <laughs> Yeah, I did. Okay, well, I mean, th there was like one turret back here. No, the turret's destroyed! The turret got taken out, and Joel held the line in the guard <laughs> tower. Oh, I think you had help, though. Your little your little personal bodyguard. I came here. out to help. So, yeah, Joel and the Arbiter actually held the line. Wait, where'd you go? You were just here. Dude, you you creeped me out. <laughs> where, I'm hiding. Where did you go? Who knows? You're, like, farming again, I bet. <laughs> I'm that guy's back to work. <laughs> Wait, turn around. I think I saw the yellow coat. Is that me? No, it's a uh, it's a ghoul. Wait, does that teddy bear have an axe in his hand? Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> oh! He just like ran in the door Checking here. Checking in on our workers. Well. I can't find Joel again, which concerns me. So I think it's time for probably oh, down in the basement. <laughs> With you, like whatever survivors, Joel's like fresh prisoners. <laughs> I think it's time for General Dave to get off of Pleasure Island. I think it's time to get out of here. I'm gonna leave your boat behind, <laughs> but I think I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just swimming away. <laughs> yeah, I'm done with this place. Let me uh, let me hear your final thoughts, Joel, as I escape. Um, I think my favorite part. Yeah, let's hear your favorite parts. Cause there was a <laughs> um, lot. I was really, lot really on. liked the arcade. Yeah, that was really, really cool. The casino was awesome. The casino was really, really well made. But I love the entrance to it. The entrance to the place was awesome. It really felt like you were going to someplace special mm. and uniquely designed. And that was really cool, and it didn't feel like the normal chip chop or ship shape ship. Chop. What am I Ch saying? Chip chop, ship shape, ship shape, <laughs> chip chop settlement. <laughs> chip chop. Like it really felt like going to something really unique and not anything like the other places. Yeah, that's what I was really excited about. Because honestly, I was wondering like how many of these can you make where they start feeling similar? Because I mean, in real life, I mean like I know every place look can look differently, but if you're if they're all built by the same person. And they're kind of government or they're like the military. Yeah, yeah. They're going to have similar looks. You're going to have a barracks. You're going to have this kind of kitchen. You know, this. So this was really cool to see something very, very different and unique. And I'm kind of pissed because I wish this was a DLC <laughs> quest. Because this looks out, this looks like it'd be one of those really seedy villains, you know, that's like, oh, they welcome you into their world. And yeah. then you find out, you know, they're cutting people up and selling people into trades and then you gotta kill them until like <laughs> there, there's human in all the hammer you need. <laughs> but I think my favorite honestly was the labor camp and the reason why is not because I'm like I got slaves but was it was that like I liked how you put it farther away like as I'm thinking of a fallout mission yeah I would be like oh cool like like, I, I remember, I think there was in Skyrim and Oblivion, there was a couple ones you were, like, you got taken into the mines, you had to, like... Oh, yeah, labor. yeah. I like those missions where you're like, oh, crap, I gotta escape. And so it just felt like you built one of those missions into your own world, and that was pretty awesome. Yeah, this is... <laughs> Gosh. 
You blow my mind with the detail. Like, it's absolutely freaking ridiculous. I also blew up my frame rate from 60 to 29. Like, that is ridiculous. I wonder what this would look like if Bethesda had to make this. Less posters, make... for sure, and, and less props. The thing is, with the prop detailing, you can get by with less. I just do hyper detailing because I can get away with it. I can kill the frame rate. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, uh, stuff like the Pleasure Palace and the arcades would all be their own individual cells. Like, both the advantage and disadvantage of doing this within the settlement system instead of Bethesda's actual, you know, level design tools is I don't have to use custom cells. So when you go up to the master room on the third floor of the Pleasure Palace, you can look out over everything else. Or, you know, you can be out at the ring and see the lights flashing inside the dance yeah. hall. Now, it's not necessarily the best gameplay experience, <laughs> but yeah. for looking and viewing, you know, I, I, I guarantee you're probably not playing in these settlements for hours on an after you build them. Like, you're just sitting, well, maybe, maybe you just wander through. I plead the fifth. <laughs> no comment. I do not spend literally hours wandering and slow walking my settlements. <laughs> or do I? I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for coming out. Hope you guys have enjoyed your tour of Joel's Pleasure Island. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Like, like I don't like. Where do you? I don't know what you do next, Dave. Like, honestly, I'm toning it down after this. This was easily 70 hours. I'm gonna enjoy some nice Minutemen, clean, non-icky <coughs> feeling settlements after. I this. I need to give you a, a tour one of these days, Dave. Of mine. It'll be a one-minute tour. <laughs> hey guys, welcome <laughs> to my block house. Done. Thanks for coming out, guys. Subscribe for more. There will be more in the future, and we'll see you guys next time. See you guys.